you have the job if you want it. And it's for an artist. His name is RuPaul. And I was like, I don't, I don't know who oh, this is. Know. And so they were like, well, he's a drag queen from New York. Welcome to Dance Dish, where the dance ends and the dish begins. I'm this episode's host, Nick Baga. We got a live audience. <laughs> and three special guests. First up is Noel Bahandas, yeah. Cassidy Noblet, and the legendary Jamal Sims. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Jamal, I gotta be honest, I know all three of us have looked up to you forever. Oh. And we just need to know how it all started. Well, how did you become this Jamal is, this Sims? Is the story. <laughs> Come on! Oh, you know, I started as a poor black child. No, <laughs> this, this is a, the same old story. No, no. no this is, so I, I, actually, I'm a South, Southern California native. Uh, I grew up in Rancho Cucamonga. I call that Rancho Cuchimonga. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, and uh, I honestly like didn't have any dance training. Uh, my my tr my tr <laughs> no, no, I, no, trust me, some of my stuff, I'm like, oh, yeah, I could have used some. Um, but I learned a lot from MTV, music videos. And um, I, I learned Beat It, Thriller, all of them I learned backwards. But that was like my training field is like music videos. And so when I graduated high school, uh, my barber, I had her hair at the time, but I don't have it now, but uh, <laughs> he was saying that there was an ad in the paper for a Michael Jackson music video. And he was like, you should go. And I was like, you think? He was like, yeah, yeah, you should yeah. go. Jumped in my little Suzuki Samurai, head hey. on down to LA. What color was it? Uh, what it was color? white, white and pink and blue. Yeah. 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 We should have known then. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm riding down, I get to Alley Cat. Now, I don't know how many of y'all know Alley oh, Cat, yeah, but yeah. it's legendary. And um, it's right there on Gower, and probably like 2,000 people were outside of Alley Cat. So if you could imagine how small this space was, the street was filled. And this is your first audition. This is right? my first audition. <laughs> yeah. So I'm weaving in between people, and I go and I finally get inside, sign my name, and they've already learned the combo. And I hear the music and it's Remember the Time. Oh. And I'm like, oh, it's the track that I love on the album. I'm like, this is mine. Like, I have to do this video. So I'm in the street learning the combo from dancers that I've seen on music videos. Like, I'm starstruck. I'm like, I can't believe I'm learning this combo from Art Palmer. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm up there, eh, thang, thang, like, trying to get it. I'm like, I think this is right. So learned it, went in there, auditioned, and ended up booking the job. That was no. like my, that was my yeah. first, yeah. First that was my audition. first audition, my first job. And I was like, it's all downhill after here. But, uh, <laughs> but the funny enough is that, you know, what was nice about the community is that Back then, people were, they would help you. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I maybe it's still the same way. You know, when we, I mean, when there was a point when we were auditioning that, it, you know, we we helped each other out. Yeah. Well, because who the job's meant for is who the job's meant for. That, that's true. Exactly. That's true. You can't, you can't stop. You know yeah. I mean? And we yeah. were all buddies. You yeah. Know what I mean, like, yeah. you're, you're in a room full of, of dancers and you see them all the time. Yeah. You know? And so, you know, hey, Agreed. you know what? And that's kind of yeah. where we bond is when we're like outside of Alley Cat in the street, I everybody's agree. sweaty, learning from each other. I that's agree. where the dance community really like yeah. connects. Yeah. And it's funny because I didn't know anyone. You know what I mean? So the fact that they came up to me and they were able to help me out was was a big deal to me. And so after that job, another Alley Cat audition, but this time they didn't say the name of the artist. The audition, they were like, can you sing? I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, not today. Uh, but um, so I sang. Great. Um, they said, you have the job if you want it. And it's for an artist. His name is RuPaul. And I was like, I don't I don't know who oh, this I is. Know. And so they were like, well, he's a drag queen from New York. He sings a song called Work. So I, I did a little bit more research. I heard the song and I was like, um, yeah, I want I want I want to do it. It was it was Ru's Vegas show, one woman Vegas show. And um, it was just me and Dante Henderson. It was another dancer. It was just two of us, right? So I was like, cool, I accepted the job, but I went immediately to the payphone and I was like, at this time, I was dating girls, so I was I was straight, but I was gay, but I was straight. So I was like, you're straight. You're straightly gay. You're straightly gay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I I go up and I I call my dad immediately and I was like, so this I got to get it past him. So hey dad, yo, what's happening? I got a job. Oh really? Where where is it at? And I was like, oh you know it's in Vegas and you know I, I hit him with all the goods you know and then uh, he said, who's it for? And I said, well it's for uh, RuPaul and he said, I, I don't know who that is and I said, well he's a drag queen and this that and third and he was said. Okay. And <laughs> it was a little silence. Okay. Oh, and then shit. he said, is it paying you? And I said, yeah. He said, okay, I'll see you in Vegas. And I was oh, like, oh man, interesting. So then I go to Vegas, we do this show. And the, and the night of the show, they bring my whole family to, to like my aunts, my uncles, everybody comes to the show. And we're on stage, we're doing some things, some crazy stuff because you, you know, Rue. And- um, I want to know how the outfits were. Oh, the that outfits was, were- yeah. What were you wearing? Yeah. You know, we didn't wear too much. We just wore some black jeans, that was it. So you know what I mean? We're the background. So um, the next thing you know, after the, sh after the, the after party, um, my whole family show up and I'm looking around and I'm watching all of my macho uh, uncles like take pictures with Rue and you know and I'm looking at my <laughs> family interact and I'm like I think I'm gonna be okay I think I'm gonna be able to be who I am with my family so I really felt like Rue opened a um allowed me to be authentic and you know my authentic self and I think that that's when you show up like that as a dancer in the world I, I started booking more at that point you know because you could always find when people are hiding behind something and you don't really connect with them and you don't know why but you know you don't have to tell everybody your business but it's nice for you to know who you are at you know and I, I was already like what 1920 at that point. So, um, yeah, so that's that's a little bit about me. That's where I started, wow. my little humble beginnings. Well, I think it deserves a toast. Right. <laughs> Let's make a toast to being your authentic hey. self. Hey. 100%. Cheers. And let's Cheers. toast to Dance Dish. Cheers to Dance Dish. Dance Dish. Dance this. Dance, dance.